Hey, Tapheads, Greg here with a quick message right before we start the show. If you haven't heard already, there's a ton of fires burning throughout Southern California. We're in Southern California. We know people who are affected by these who have uh, lost their homes and had to be evacuated at the very least. And we wanted to give you an opportunity to donate and maybe get a little something in return. So if you donate to any uh, charities that are directly affecting the fires or helping people out from the fires, we will happily send you some craft beer swag. We've got coasters and stickers and other little goodies from various craft breweries. Uh, real simple, just email us, theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com, and we will happily send you some stuff over. Um, some of the ways you can donate, the United Way of Ventura County is one way. Uh, you can just text UWVC to 41444 to make a donation to the Thomas Fire Fund. You can also go to their website, vcunitedway.org, or call 805-485-6288. You can even send in a check if you still write those. Thomas Fire Fund in the memo, and the address is 702 County Square Drive, Suite 100, Ventura, California. 93003. The Salvation Army Ventura Corps is looking for water, snacks um, to help the displaced residents. They've set up shop at the Ventura County Fairgrounds and they're asking for donations of food and water as it works to help the evacuees. Uh, food must be packaged for store bought. No homemade goods. Sorry, no pot brownies, you guys. They're also asking for financial assistance. You can donate by calling 1 800 SAL Army, S A L Army, or visiting their website. Uh, you can donate to the Red Cross. This will help. All the fire victims, not just Ventura, but as well as the ones that are going on in L.A. County. Uh, Red Cross is accepting applications for volunteers as well. Just go to redcross.org. You can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS, and both of those will uh, lead you to either volunteering or donating. Um, the Catholic Charities is accepting donations of gently used clothing as well as new toys and clothing to be given as Christmas gifts to families that were displaced by the fires. They can be dropped off at the Catholic Charities Ventura Community Services Center at 303 North Ventura Avenue in Ventura. That's 93001. You can also donate cash or supplies to the Humane Society of Ventura County. Uh, you can do that by going to hsvc.org as far as money goes, um, or you can drop off anything that they may need. Uh, alfalfa hay, Timothy hay, cat chow, rabbit food, flashlights, headlamps, lanterns, waters, uh, excuse me, water bottles, uh, fruit snacks, hoses, and power generators, and that's at their shelter where uh, we got my little dog. So we'll definitely be donating to them as well. Um, and you can also help the L.A. County Animal Care Foundation Disaster Relief. They're accepting donations to supplement their disaster relief efforts through its NOAA's Legacy Fund, which provides supplies and training to and equipment to first responders charged with rescuing animals from areas stricken by natural disasters. You can mail your donations to P.O. Box 100515, Pasadena, California, 91189. Or you can also just go to the website, lacountyanimals.org, and click on the Ways to Give button right at the top there. Uh, like I said, if you donate to any of these or any other fire-related charities, happily, happily send you guys some craft beer swag. Just let us know that you did, theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. Sorry for my morning voice. I'm also sober. Now let's get on to the show. Schmidt beer, the brew that grew to be best in the great Northwest. Your finest craft beer, Rocky. Man to man, smoke Roy Tan. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, being joined by the Booze Leagues Commissioner, Wiley Withers. Here are Greg, Scott, and Dan coming at you ice cold and unfiltered. Always. All right. Yes. Welcome in, everybody. That's right. We are the unfiltered gentlemen. Yep. Always ice cold and unfiltered. Mm -hmm. I'm Greg. That's Scott. That's right. And that's Dan. That's right. <laughs> and uh, bitching out on us once oh. again. Oh. Oh. oh, where is. Oh, Wait. oh man. Why isn't he here again? Oh, should I read the text? Why is yes. he withered? Yeah, I, I'm pretty withered. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he withered away. Oh, uh, my oh God. God. The, the so-called commissioner of the Booze of League, the booze league. Yes, couldn't handle his so, booze. Oh, no. He's a little too hungover today. Oh, my God. That is so weird. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did he drink, a, like a wine cooler or something? Yeah, he, he must have had one too many bottles oh. of James. Did we start the show too early for him or something? Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> So yeah. Let me just let me, very 
quickly, did you drink last night? I did a and lot. You got actually. drunk. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you, sir? Yeah, I drink. I as well. Yeah. We're here. Hey, guess That's what? Right. Look at this. In fact, we're making it better. We're drinking some more. What happened to Mrs. Wiley? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> my God. Poor Mrs. Withers. Damn. Oh, I, I think she's held up on her couch eating oh. the hagen <laughs> I thought he was really going to show up today, too. I have you, my yeah, you Booze League, league hat league on. Hat. And, oh, yeah. man. What, what, yeah. you, were, you were repping. You were showing some yeah. Booze League pride. And That's ridiculous. I mean, no. Hung over still. Oh, yeah. please. Yeah. What a biatch. No nope. kidding. Okay. But hey, we're here. That's right. Yep. We're ready Drinking to, again. Yeah. That's right. We're ready to be heroes to all you listeners out there. Doing God's work over mm-hmm. here. Don't use that term lightly, heroes, but uh, <laughs> I think it counts right now. I yes. think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, so thank you guys for listening. Thanks for joining. Thanks for not bitching out like Wiley from the Booze mm-hmm. League. That's right. Wow. Uh, our burp word of the week. If you don't know what a burp word is for, it's so that Scott doesn't throw up on the microphone. <laughs> mm-hmm. Our burp word yeah. of the week is an easy one. It's repeal. At least I don't get hungover. Over. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> and if you do, you still show up. Yes. Yeah. Hungover. That's just that another means. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you hungover today? I don't know. Did I, I wake up? <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are open. I'm walking. Yeah. yeah. Must be all right. Uh, burp word is repeal. All repeal. right. Repeal. Repeal. Yes. And well, I'll get to that in a little bit as to why. Uh, shout out to Ottawa, eh? Oh, shit. Yeah. Ottawa Dang. coming through on the uh, on Dang. the weekly numbers last week for uh, for our listenership. Nice, yeah. So we're international stars, we're getting international on these. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of cool. So thanks to uh, Ottawa for joining in and listening to the unfiltered gentleman and for not bitching out like Wiley. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you might see a theme this show yeah, a little bit, a little <laughs> bit. Uh, so very cool. Thank you guys for listening. Don't forget when you're on the social medias to hashtag show us your beers. Hashtag show us your beers. Uh, that way we can find what you're drinking. We want to see what you're drinking. Mm-hmm. It turns us on in really dirty ways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan got real excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so hashtag show us your beers or, or even tag us, whatever you'd like to do, so we can see what you're drinking out there. Speaking of drinking. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Unlike Wiley, we're going to drink some beers. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes. Probably a good thing he didn't show up. because More beer he, for us. If he drank this, he'd be hungover tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't function. <laughs> hey, we're not drinking wine coolers. No. <laughs> I'm sure he'd have a work at some point tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 6 p.m., he'd still be out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're not letting up anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, we're drinking New Belgium's Accumulation White IPA. Very good. I got the uh, the new Folly Pack from Costco the other day. Uh, pro tip: If you have a Costco membership, the New Belgium Folly Pack, twenty four pack, twenty five bucks. Wow! Oh yeah. snaps! How do you not? It's it's like you're losing money if you don't buy it. You got to do it. Yeah, it's just over a dollar a beer. It's Damn. almost that's pretty good. This could almost be boozing on a budget. Yeah, I mean, at, at just over a dollar a beer, I can dig it. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. Um, anyway, so 3.72 on Beer Advocates, 6.2%, 55 IBUs. I like it. Good stuff. It's yeah. delicious. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. It's that white IPA, so it's cloudy. It's not like East Coast cloudy. Right. It's uh, it's kind of Belgian-y cloudy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the initial pour, it kind of looked that way, but now it kind of sits a little bit. It's hazy, but it's not, you know. Yeah. It's got that... Uh, that I guess it's like a Belgian yeast, I think, is what they use. Okay. Like an IPA-style uh, brew. And it, it gives it like that really smooth like mouthfeel, kind of mm-hmm. almost creamy-ish. Yeah. Uh, but it's got some nice hop in there. It says that they use uh, nugget, centennial, uh, and it's in the brew, and then it's dry hopped with mosaic and amarillo. So they definitely put some good hops in there. Good stuff. Yeah, man. I like it. It's, it's easy to drink. And oh, yeah. My, my lady friend who hates IPAs, Likes this one. Oh, really? Like, yeah, it's just it's universally well loved. It's a good one to have in the fridge. No one's gonna dislike this one. Correct. Right. It's good. It's got a nice, uh, nice head on there too. And yeah. It, you know, that's what you like during like around the winter time. You can see like a nice head. Looks like snow. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Exactly. Hence the name accumulation. There it's got a little go. picture of a snowy thing on that's there. That's right. Oh man. Yeah. Yep. It's so, the season. Yeah, it is indeed. They said they brewed this uh, because they wanted to prove that you didn't have to drink a stout during the winter. Uh-huh. You don't? I dig it. Yeah. I, I remember drinking it thinking this does taste like like a some winter yeah. beer that it, I would drink. It is the season. I love it. Yeah. It is the season to drink a beer. Um, so, yes. What was I going to say about it? Oh, uh, on the nose, I get some uh, 
it's real light, but I get some of that that heft like smell, that Belgian smell. Mm, right. Also some hop smell, like a like a pineish smell. You're making us all smell our beers now. Yeah, stick your <laughs> nose in that thing. Smell your beers. Flavor. Uh, Hashtag on, smell your beer. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Flavor. I get some dankness there, some pine, some like hop resin. Mm. But um. Yeah. Also a little bit of that uh, that that white flavor. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. White's a flavor now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got that That's racist. White. <laughs> white wow. flavor. I didn't even realize yeah. what you said. Wow. I mean, I knew what you were talking about for yes. whatever reason. But <laughs> you feel me? I got you. I'm trying not to be racist here. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, yes, New Belgium. We got a uh, booze on a budget coming up for the bullpen beer. Uh, we got some sports to talk about. We got a very cool listener email that oh. I'll get to in just a couple of you. Yeah, yeah it's actually really cool. All right. Uh, of course, beer babe of the week. <laughs> Uh, in booze news, we got some stuff to talk about, including uh, the reason why repeal is our burp word of the day. It's because mm-hmm. uh, it's the anniversary of the 21st Amendment. Oh, when wow. They repealed prohibition. So nice. uh, we got some prohibition facts to talk about. Love it. Yes. So very cool. Uh, first, talk about some drinking I did. I can't tell if this is uh, a grievance or not. Have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. Because, you know, drinking beer is never a grievance. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we went to Disneyland, of course. All just right. just had to check up on their craft beer situation. <laughs> just doing research. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was also the lady friend's birthday. And at California Adventure, where they have all the beer, they're also doing the Festival of Holidays. Oh. And it's kind of cool. They have like these, I don't know, huts, for lack of a better term, set up down the main drag of California Adventures. And they have seasonal offerings of food. And most of them have a beer or wine pairing to go with it as well. Oh, right on. It was cool because they had some really good stuff. They had uh, The Brewery. They had Modern Times, uh, Brew Labs. What else did they have? A lot of, you know, not so common. You know, they always have Carl Strauss there, which is great. Right. But they had some stuff you don't expect to see at Disneyland, you know? That's cool. It was really fun. Though, I I think they were a little racist because at the the Mexican hut where you get like Uh queso fondito with some uh, chorizo and it's really good. Uh Uh-huh. Their pairing was Modelo Negro. What? God damn it. I was like, that's the best you could come up with? Come on. There's got to be a better Mexican beer than Modelo. Right. Not that I dislike Modelo. Like, right. It, it's fine. It's, you know, in a pinch. Right. I definitely drink that over a Bud Light any day. <laughs> um, easy to drink, whatever. But, you know, when you're pairing with food, it's like, oh, yeah, I've paired this with my my uh, rare, hard to find Modelo Negro. <laughs> yeah, that kind of hurts, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. I understand it's imported, uh, technically, but, <laughs> sort you know, of. Yeah, it's sort of, kind of, in a way. Imported but. from Oxnard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they kind of cacked out on that. I think, yeah, wow. yeah. A bit. They could have found something to something a little better. Yeah, even if it was a Mexican ale that wasn't necessarily brewed by right. a Mexican brewer. Correct. Um, there's one from Melvin called Jesus. I talked about it a week or two mm-hmm. ago. Really good Mexican ale. Like right. that would have been a nice one to have, and right. and rare, and and you know scored some points with all the craft beer nerds. And odd that that's more favorable than an actual imported <laughs> Mexican beer. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, it's true. I guess it's just just so uh, common found here. Well, I'm sure something. there's some good Mexican beers. I just I don't mm. think they make there's their way up. Be, uh, I don't think they did really tried very hard to no, get there, a good Mexican no. beer. There's got to be something. I mean, yeah. I mean, thank you for not making it Corona because that's just piss. <laughs> right. It's literally drinking piss. Don't talk about my. Like sorry, that. Vin. So sorry. <laughs> Hold your beer like a weirdo. Yeah. Um, I'll show you how a man drinks a beer. <laughs> sure, a man holds a beer. <laughs> butthead, yeah. Man. But uh, yeah, so that was fun. They had some good food and some good beers that we tried. And then uh, for her birthday, I took her to the Napa Rose, which is a restaurant inside the Grand California and super fancy. Oh, ridiculously expensive. Oh, wow. Really good. Uh, luckily it was free because I have Disney reward points. Oh, nice. <laughs> so I got like the credit of taking her out for her birthday to a super go. fancy dinner. Awesome. And it cost me a big fat goose egg. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we were able to like order a bottle of wine and get, uh, you know, fancy dinners and appetizers and the whole nine. So mm-hmm. it was very cool. It was a lot of fun. Cool. So anybody have any grievances or, or is everybody having a good week? Um, not really a grievance. I just have a little, I guess, story to share yeah. about me and my drinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this oh, is another, this well, is an intervention. Yeah, yeah another what, episode. One that you can share. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and I didn't have a hangover, by the way. No. Oh, no, good it's job. All, yeah. set, all, when it's all said and done. I'll but, show you how a man drinks that's beer. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how a man drinks so, beer right now. Somebody needs to show Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, um, this is last week, and I got home early from working. It was Sunday. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go by... Uh, the brewery, my local brewery, give me a growler, just mm-hmm. relax, watch some football, drink some beer. There and, you go. Um, 
say fuck you to the rest of the day. Right. Dig it. Uh, so I did. And then um, after I finished my growler, maybe I had a couple more beers. Next thing I know, I'm waking up and I look at the clock. It's like 6 o'clock. I'm like, holy shit. I slept the whole night. I never do that. I usually wake up at 2 or 3 in the morning and go Ubering. Right. I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? So I jumped up, turned on my coffee, jumped in the shower, got out of the shower, got my coffee. And I got it. in the meantime, I got a text from my brother-in-law. And I read the text. And I go, okay. And I'm like, wow, man. I was just really pissed off at myself. <laughs> and so about 7 o'clock, I'm all dressed. I'm ready to go. And I look out the window and go, why the fuck is it still dark at 7 o'clock? <laughs> so I go, wait a minute. So I look at the text from my brother-in-law again. It said 6 o'clock p.m. Yeah. Oh. I didn't yeah. sleep all night. I felt so proud of myself. <laughs> I, only, yeah, I, I only slept a couple hours. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Made it the next morning, 2 a.m. I was up. No hangover. There right. You go. Uber lifting. That's yeah, Uber lifting. That's what's tricky though about this whole time change right now with yeah. the, the fall yeah. back or whatever. I hate how early it gets. You dark. wake up and it's dark. You go to sleep, it's dark. Yeah. It's a little like, depressing. It, it is. is so you're right. You wake You're up confused. and it's six. You don't know what fucking time know, it is. Man. I just yeah, just eight o'clock, six o'clock. I'm, I got to be doing something right now. That's right. Tuesdays are rough for me because uh, the what I do on Tuesdays is not like a nine to five. You know, it's not a set day. Tuesdays are my weird days. Someday. It's a four-hour day. Someday it's a 10-hour day. Mm. And so often when the time changes like this, I get up and I have to wake up early. It's like 6 when I get up, so it's a little dark. Mm -hmm. And then I get out and sometimes it's 5 or 6 o'clock and it's still dark. It's like, fuck, that's depressing. I didn't see any sunlight today. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I was mad because I wasted a shower. Yeah. Yeah. But then I was like, (laughs) fuck this. I I dumped out the coffee and went and opened up another beer. You're like, that's my shower for the week. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's it. (laughs) You jumped the the coffee into a beer like, I got a coffee stout. (laughs) (laughs) It's a coffee IPA. There you go. Can I ask uh, what growler you you had filled there? Oh, man. Um, You remember that far back? (laughs) I forget the name. It was, remember the growler we had when you guys were over? Institution? It was uh, with the the kind of... uh, Coffee. Oh, taste. the dark one. Yeah, but it was it was one just like I said. Do you have anything that that's like that? And then like, yeah, here, try this. I oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I I it was from institution. It was from institution. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. local uh, Camarillo brewery. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. All I've right. been quite a uh, good customer of theirs lately. Oh, yeah. I have to take a lot of days off from work because it's like the end of the year, and I'll lose them if I don't. So, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, cool, man. So, so, so they're going to know you real well. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Over at the brewery, yeah. they know me by my name now. Yeah, yeah asshole. Yeah. Hey, asshole's here. Hey, asshole. Hey, you hung over? <laughs> nope, not me. <laughs> this is other guy lit up the hill. He's always coming in here hung over. Yeah. Oh, my God. He always looks like hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Crying. Like You're going to have a fucking beer! <laughs> well, he's not. I know. Scott will. That's what oh, you yeah. tried to tell him. Yeah. And he's like, no, yeah. I can't yeah, do no, it. No, no, no. I can't do it. <laughs> Potty fell. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we have a listener email, which is very cool. This comes from Toby. Oh, I was hoping it was from Calvin. <laughs> Calvin's <laughs> a crack. You got to get awesome. Calvin in back in there. Love that guy, man. <laughs> Take a shit, have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Have some ice cream. Eat some ice cream. <laughs> that guy's badass. That guy, we got to get him in here. Yes. Cal- or, yeah, Calvin, if you're listening, you ever want to come hang out, drink a couple beers, and be on the show with us, mm-hmm. as long as you're not like violent, I think that'd be pretty bad. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'd we love to take yeah. a shit and eat yeah. some ice cream with you. Don't yeah, please don't shit at my house. <laughs> <laughs> get the plunger ready. Drink all oh your beer, God. shit in your toilet, and yeah. Yeah. Oh a mess. God. It's like... Oh, Calvin was here. Oh, man. (laughs) Oh, God. Uh, No, this one's from Toby. So thank you, Toby. Uh, He says, hey, guys. This weekend was my tailgating group's annual beer tasting tailgate party called Toby Fest, named after me since I organized it. I like the name. Yeah. Uh, I have people bring a six-pack of craft beer, either their favorite or a beer they haven't had yet, and I organize them by style for a for a progressive tasting. Mm. Reading's hard today. I'm a little hungover. <laughs> when it's time <laughs> but to you're here. T- yeah, but I'm here. <laughs> when it's time to taste, we gather around a long table, pass out the beer we'll be tasting, announce the beer, do a toast, and then drink. This year we had twenty six beers to sample and it was a tremendous success oh, nice. as always. <laughs> I've attached some pictures of the tasting and beer list. Uh, and I have pictures here I'll post as you can see the list it's quite oh, the wow. list of beers Ooh, and uh here's them at the party hanging oh, out drinking right beer on. and I'll and I'll put those on our social medias the unfiltered gentleman and at unfiltered gents on Twitter mm-hmm. he goes on to say we take tailgating seriously at LSU and a lot of people from around our tailgate site always look forward to Toby Fest to try new beers so it's become a bigger deal as the years have gone on do do any of you or any listeners have a big yearly beer tasting like this i found that it's a great way to meet new people 
and expose more people to great beard. Cheers, Toby. Wow. Cheers to you, Toby. Correct. What a hero. That's awesome. We thought we were heroes. Yeah. This guy's organizing beer events. No kidding. Um, first of all, love the name. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to start Greg Fest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Or you know what we should call it since we'll all be getting drunk and drinking more? Not Wiley Fest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not Wiley Fest. It'll be great. Oh, my God. Um, so cheers to you, Toby. I sort of do this. I've done this for the last couple of years on my birthday. Where, oh, nice. yeah, the last two, maybe three years when I've told people to come over for the birthday and, you know, people, oh, yo, yeah, bring some beer. It's like, eh, eh, I don't need your 36 pack of uh, PBR. <laughs> it's fine. You can leave that at home. Bring a six pack or a bomber or two of something that you, e, e, A, have never tried <laughs> or B, really like and want to share with people. <laughs> and for the most part, that works out pretty well. One guy one year is my lady friend's friend. Had he's not into beer, but he had some rando beers like left in his fridge from a party, <laughs> and so we got some real shit out of it. Like we got a Bud Light or a Budweiser Platinum thing, got a couple of those, and like a random Miller Light, <laughs> but also got like two Choco Vesas. Oh wow! And oh, a yeah. couple of other good ones. And I was like, "Do you know what you have here?" He's like, "No, nah, I don't really like beer." I was like, "Fantastic!" <laughs> and I put the Bud White, the Bud Light uh, Platinum in the front, so people would take that first. <laughs> there you go. And I hit the Choco Vesas. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so for my birthday, I do kind of a similar thing. I don't get organized cause I'm too busy getting hammered right? Yeah, and preparing myself for tomorrow's hangover. Yeah. So props to Toby <laughs> for keeping yeah. it organized. Yeah. That's pretty badass. Yeah. Um, I was saying to him, we should do like an unfiltered tasting and like pick a spot, you know, parking lot somewhere, mm-hmm. Kmart or something, you know, yeah. uh, get like a table and just invite as many local listeners that want to come out and bring a bomber or a six pack or something. And we should do a tasting. That'd be cool. Maybe Can we, we do that. I don't know. Why not? I know, right? be like, I mean, not really in a Kmart parking lot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Maybe somewhere less public. Doc Brown's busy in that yeah, parking California's lot. California's <laughs> so weird. I mean, Party! <laughs> yeah, we have to do it like at a house or something. Yeah. Or figure something. Let's a little... do a dance house. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there yeah. we go. It's a good idea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, if anybody, uh, A, let us know if you've done something similar, and B, if you'd be interested in an unfiltered gentleman fest. Yeah. That'd sounds be cool. Little, sounds a little gay. The unfiltered fest. Yeah. Yeah. Something. We'll work on the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gentleman <laughs> fest sounds a little not so good. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you guys would be interested as listeners that are uh, in the SoCal region, <laughs> let us know. I think it'd be fun to organize and maybe do uh, sometime in the new year. So. Very cool. Thank you, Toby. Uh, if you guys want to email us, theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com, and we want to hear about your uh, your beer shit. Yeah. But not your beer shits. <laughs> no, yeah. Calvin. <laughs> 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 yeah, we'll hear about the beer shits. Why not? Yeah, Why what it? the hell. All right, let's do a little sports. Yay. <laughs> and now, the sports, brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. All right. Whether it's the Baltimore chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. It is indeed. Uh, is it listener Kyle that wants us to talk more baseball? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, here you yes. go, Kyle. Here we go. The Marlins have a deal, actually two deals in place for Giancarlo Stanton to either go to the Giants or the Cardinals. Oh, wow. All they're waiting on is for him to give it the okay because he's got a no trade clause. Smart man. So he gets to pick which team he's going to? Yeah, or deny it altogether. Oh, wow. He can say, big yeah, fuck I guess you. He's, yeah, he's got a no trade club, yeah, so it's all up to him. He's been visiting all these teams. Right. And he wants to come denying. to the Dodgers. Does he? He does. And they have not thrown their hat in the ring yet. They, don't, they haven't offered up a deal. So everyone's thinking that he's going to wait until we get more uh, information from the Dodgers on how interested in him they are before he makes a decision on these two teams. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Dodgers... I get in on this. Yeah. I Please. think we, we could have used him instead of Dervish. Yeah. <laughs> we could have oh used anybody instead of uh, Darvish. Yeah. But uh, Dervish. God. Yeah, we we could use a bat. We can give him, yeah. Who can we give him? Darvish. <laughs> he's gone already. Yeah, yeah he's know. gone. Uh yeah, this is a week, Peterson maybe and a few others, but yeah, yeah man. Jock and uh Kike or something. <laughs> Puig, yeah. Half the team, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Whoever fell apart in the World Series. That's crazy. Well, that could that's be the like, entire team. Uh, yeah, yeah. 25 shit. players. Let's yeah. narrow that down. <laughs> yeah, crap. <laughs> uh, let's so, just talk about game seven when everybody just like gave up. Yeah, that's the entire anyway, team. Anyway, yeah. It's Sorry, de- fans. Getting we're, depressing. We're going to bore you yeah. with Dodgers stuff. A little PTSD over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope the Dodgers uh, jump on that. I don't. I really don't want them to go to the Giants. 
Oh, man. And the Cardinals for that, because Cardinals always give us shit in the postseason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and fuck the Giants. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, Japanese player, I'm going to butcher the fuck out of his name, Shohai Otani. Wow, you nailed Not it. Not bad. Yeah. You nailed it. All right, look at I that. I have no idea who he is. He's... <laughs> He's a, a very sought-after pitcher from Japan who's in L.A. this week to uh, be courted by all the MLB teams. He's he's meeting with all the teams and making a decision on who and if he wants to uh, to, to join MLB. He's not related to you, Darvish, is he? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, because he already told the Red Sox, no thanks, oh, for some man. reason. Oh, really? Yeah. he were, or, or the Red Sox, maybe. But I read that the Red Sox are out of the... Interesting. Uh, out of the race. Because he found him. out where Cincinnati is. <laughs> uh, Cincinnati oh, Red Sox. I was like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking like, hey, fuck maybe you he's Boston a, jokes. I, got, but I, got, I think I, he's afraid of bombs. I'm hungover. Oh, yeah. Hello, hungover. <laughs> but you're here, buddy. That's Life. right. Thanks for showing up. Glad you showed up. Yeah, that's right. Sort of. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> maybe I should have called out. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> you and Wiley beating hog dogs yeah. together. <laughs> yeah. um, so anyway, I think they have to pay like a twenty million dollar. Uh, fee to whatever just to talk to him right well no not Non- they don't do that anymore oh, okay but if they take him from the team that he's on they have to pay that team 20 million dollars oh, okay. to like buy out this guy's contract it's weird the, the rules to get people over from other countries is it is weird. weird was it was it darvish i mean, i could be wrong where they had to pay like 60 million just yeah. to talk to the guy yeah they changed it to where you don't have to pay that huge <laughs> like the teams would have to bid on the right to just talk to him and then that person could either sign with the team or stay, or, or not, That's yeah, crazy. or stay in Japan. Yeah, essentially, yeah. like that was the only, whoever won that bid was the only team that person could sign with. But it, you know, it's whoever had the deepest yeah. pockets to talk yeah, to. Yeah, it's non refundable. Yeah, it's like he can right. say like, oh, never mind. Yeah, and it's like fifty mil out the window. That's yep. insane. That's so stupid. It's weird. Very dumb. Yeah, I don't know if that's. Our, you know, the MLB's rules, or if that's the Japan's league's could rules. Be, yeah, it could be theirs. Who I knows? Mean. If it's if it's the J- Japan league rules, then they're smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I get these idiots to pay us fifty mil for nothing. It could just be a you know like a player thing where it's just like, hey, I'm not going to listen to anybody unless yeah. they pay me money. Yeah, except I don't think it went to the player. Yeah. So mm-hmm. weird. Um, any golf fans in the room? Chirp chirp. Yeah, glad to hear that. Tiger yeah. Woods apparently can golf again. Oh, good for him. Yeah, he, he he did well over the weekend, which leads me to only one conclusion. He's fucking all the hostesses again. <laughs> yeah. He's I mean, been, he's been at the Waffle House doing some damage. I don't know. He's, he's got to put it together, dude. Like, uh, I'm not sold by one good oh. outing. You know what I mean? I'm not sold, then I really don't give a shit. Correct. It's golf. It, and then, yeah. Yeah. But something I do care about. Hmm? 49ers. <laughs> what? Got win number two over the weekend. Oh, no shit. No way. Yeah. Jimmy Garoppolo, what oh, a yeah. stud. There you go. Who did they beat again? The Bears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. The Bears. Wow, how did that happen? That's quite yeah. the shit fest. Did yeah, the well, Bears even show up? Or? <laughs> no, they were hungover. <laughs> <laughs> <They're hung laughs> they over. haven't shown up all year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Garoppolo, stud on and off the field. That guy, he's a good-looking gentleman. He sure is. Yeah, yeah. I can co that. He yeah. hasn't lost a game yet with the 49ers. Yeah, he's undefeated as a 49ers <laughs> quarterback. <That's right. laughs> no mm-hmm. kidding. Look at that guy go. I mean, I didn't understand why they didn't start him sooner. Last week, when uh, Beathard got injured, he went in and played the final play of the game, threw a touchdown, mm-hmm. and then the game was over. They yeah. still lost, but then no. they finally, oh, I guess we'll start him. Like, yeah, I guess you fucking will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they idiots. only have one win. I mean, right. it can't get any worse. Now we have two. For <laughs> half the coaches, when he threw that touchdown, oh, he can't throw. Okay. Yeah, what do you know? What, that's how we got him, huh? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Idiots. Yeah, pretty much. Idiots. I, but the only thing I can think of is that they wanted to tank the season and get that pick. I uh, it's got to be it. I don't know. But now that Beard's I mean, injured, they're like, oh, we got to pretend we're not tanking. All right, put in Garoppolo. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Because I I think Garoppolo's just a like a one one and done guy unless they resign him. I think his contract is up. So why won't they just put him in there and play him? Might as well. Unless yeah. they're afraid he get hurt. Yeah, but if they're not going to resign him, like, hopefully they do resign him. Mm-hmm. They need a fucking quarterback. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, maybe they could have a heart. Don't put him in there behind our line because he'll get killed. So, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> poor guy's got a family. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, he's a pretty man. You don't want to destroy that. Yeah, no. that's right. He's, he's got that going for him. He does. You man. don't want to hurt that face. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and Eli. Speaking of quarterbacks, oh, no. Eli oh, got no. benched last week. Boom. The downfall of Eli. He's What's done. worse than being benched is being benched for Geno Smith. Right? Oh, oh my God. God. It was awesome. I mean, as a Raider fan, like, I kind of <laughs> like, I know our defense isn't the best, so I kind of <laughs> felt like even Eli and the Giants could have a crack at beating the Raiders. 
But then when they said Geno Smith was in, it's like, okay, I think we can win by three at least. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got it. I'll, I'll take the spread. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, yeah um, uh... Did you hear what the coach said about him, too? He said, like, well, I still think he's an elite quarterback, and I still think that he could win a Super Bowl sometime and be a, on a championship team. It's like, so why'd you bench him? Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you have the yeah. ultimate uh, confidence Sometimes, in him, yeah. fucking start him. As a player? Because yeah. he's career's probably like almost over it's I so think. stupid like show. that you could think that and then say no but you're not playing fuck you yeah you know what i mean right. that's so stupid I, yeah he's it's got, like hey you know joe montana the best quarterback right now but uh we're gonna sit him down yeah yeah he's elite he just won a super bowl last year yeah we're gonna sit him down stupid he's that, got a lot of potential he, he could probably win for somebody else right not a, i know yeah that's the dumbest comment i heard it's like dude just stand by it yeah that's yeah, just just pull him and say he's not having a good year. Correct. Or if you want to protect him, say he's he's got a nagging leg injury something. or something. You know, yeah, that's something that something Popovich that would makes, do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got a leg injury. How what is it? His leg. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's you, a, you like can rest easy cuz I think the coach is next anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised he's still I'm hearing there. like yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I think after the 49er loss, <laughs> should have been the, <laughs> Oh my god. That should have been the writing on the door. So, uh and what else? Oh. <laughs> In true Detroit fashion. <laughs> They tried to blow up the Silver Dome. It would not fall over. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. Wow. Did you see this? Standing fast. Oh, God. There's video. I'll have to repost it or something. Uh, They tried to implode the Silver Dome, and the charges went off, and the building did not fall. Ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Only in fucking Detroit. I know, right? Uh, They They actually tried to destroy something. It doesn't happen. Yeah, the only thing there not to implode. Yeah. (laughs) Silver Dome. uh, The one thing they wanted to. Yeah. Didn't do it. Yeah. Everything else falls apart by accident over there. Mm Mm-hmm. The, or, uh, the uh, Hulk Hogan, <laughs> luckily, once it's gone, won't have to call it the wrong thing anymore. Hopefully. Yeah. When he was in, uh, was it New Orleans at the Superdome? Yeah, Superdome. A couple no. years ago. He came out just to cut, it was before he was racist and they still allowed him on TV. <laughs> yeah. He came out, cut a little promo, and he's like, welcome the Hulkamaniacs to the Silverdome. Oh. And everyone's just like, huh? What? Wow. And just kind of chirp, chirp. And then Stone Cold came out and made fun of yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great. I'm sure Vince is back there like, no, shut up, shut up. He didn't say it. You know? <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> Vince always says that. Yeah. So, uh, and finally, a uh, little basketball top talk. <laughs> so the Clippers suck. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Hmm. Uh, I hear that uh, DJ's on the trading block. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are they gonna lock him in the house again? <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to say. It's like they locked him in the house and like basically you know chained him to the bed to get him to resign, and yeah. now they're looking to trade him. Right. What the hell? Is Mark know, Cuban man. interested? <laughs> not <laughs> anymore. Not. Yeah. What do you think? Should the Lakers go for this? No. No. <laughs> No, no DJ in the league. No, league? I don't think so. He looks like a little like uh, like his conditioning's off or something like that. He doesn't look as uh, well, fit and trim as he usually does for whatever gassed. reason. Well, not so much that he's gas. He just looks a little chunkier for whatever reason. I don't know if that's good or bad, but you'd think that someone that used to be able to jump out of the gym, uh, it's probably not good for him to carry around a lot more weight. You know what I mean? So that's probably true. Right. I'm wondering if maybe. You know, Chris Paul has something to do with how good he was in the past. How good he looked? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, Chris Paul's gone, and he yeah. doesn't really look... I mean, he was never, good. like, an offensive powerhouse or anything. Right. No, but, you know, the Chris Paul feeding him those passes right above the rim where he could, you know, throw yeah. it down. Yeah. He sure as hell can't shoot. No. <laughs> But his free throw percentage has improved. It has. I think he's up to like, what, 60%? Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. 60%. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Him and Drummond, actually. And wow. Drummond used to shoot bricks like 30%. These are like below 40% free throw shooters who somehow in one year got it up to 60-some percent. So everyone that's been talking about that hack-a-shack crap just needs to shut up because, yeah. you know, and I know this happened recently to Ben Simmons. Everyone's like, oh, my God, this is so boring. The reason why it's so boring is because Ben Simmons can't shoot free throws. Right. You know? It's what I've been saying for years. If you learn how to shoot a goddamn free yeah. throw, we don't have they to do this anymore. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Don't you're, change the rules. Make the guy shoot a free throw. That's right. right. You're a professional athlete. Why can't you shoot a fucking yeah, free throw? Wrong. It wrong pisses me that. off, man. Oh, my God. You do not need to change the rules because you know people suck at free throws. They right. should be able to do this. They need to work on their game. That's right. That's the answer here. I agree. Oh, God. And I do one more thing. is Please. On the rundown. It says Clippers suck hyphen trade DJ. So it looks like Clippers suck trade DJ. So I was like, are they trading him for a blowjob or something? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of confused me. At I don't first. think you get that much for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could have like a half a blowjob, but no finish. <laughs> yeah. you know? So I was like, oh, Clippers Maybe a suck. Or something? Yeah. Trade DJ. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so no DJ to the Lakers? Is that what we're saying? I don't, I don't mm. No. I, you know, in the years past, I'd say yeah. But yeah. yeah. But not I, the way he looks this year. And it's year. funny because he's yeah. actually shooting free throws better. Right. And that used to be his liability. But I don't know. Maybe man. if they could trade Bogut for Hell yeah. DJ. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. Go. I would take Bogut for DJ in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And oh speaking God. of coaches losing their job. Uh-oh. Doc Rivers can't be long for this world, can he? No. You would think. You, I mean, he's proven... I mean, what we've been saying for years, he's a garbage coach. He is. He only won championships because how could you not win championships with those well, with four the players, on the floor? Yeah. It didn't yeah. matter who was coaching. He wasn't coaching. I think the more like Garnett and the other guys were coaching. Yeah, he was Garnett's him. bitch. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. He's a garbage coach. They already took away his GM duties. That's right. See, so... <laughs> He couldn't oh. fire himself in the past, but right. now that he's not the GM anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's his, giving, his giving Miho his, yeah. alla- his allowance and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Was it $12 million for Miho? Grossly overpaid. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. I think I sent you guys that clip where he cussed out the fan, Miho. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. <laughs> oh, God. It was funny because I was watching the game, and the clipper announcer was like, some unkind words for the fans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Uh, all right. Any- oh, and real quick, booze and tug update. Uh Oh, God. Scott over here beat Wiley the commish. I beat the commish, yeah. yes. Maybe he's too hungover to set his lineup. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. No kidding, right? And Dan's beard running wild. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah, just like fantasy, just like reality, man. <laughs> my beard can't be stopped. <laughs> it's a beautiful beard. It's unbelievable. Friend. Beautiful beard. <laughs> um, all right. You, you gentlemen should pour yourself uh, yes, we should. some of the second beer if you're ready. And I should tell you guys the old-timey word of the week is pangwangle, pangwangle. It's to go along cheerfully. I'm, I'm not going to touch it. I was looking at it and I was like, I can't figure out a sentence for this. This is. I need to see it in in some kind of sentence. I, I can't. I can't figure it out. Pangwangle to go along cheerfully. Man, he got such good bubs last night. He was walking down the street all pangwangle. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's that easy. It is easy. Just that easy. What a pro. Mm-hmm. That's why they pay me the big bucks over here. Good job. Thank you. All right. Not too hungover for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing better than a babe with craft beer. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. Oh, yes, it is indeed. Batch 73's Beer Babe of the Week. Her name is Emily and you can find her on the Instagrams. I'm showing the fellas right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just perving out over here. Yeah. Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind him. Uh, you can find her on Instagram at La Petite Beer. L-A underscore Petite underscore B-I-E-R-E. Yeah, it's a little more Beer. confusing at the end there. So. Right, yeah. So if you're drunk yeah. or extremely hungover, it might be hard to find. Just get yeah, it right, though, because it. it's worth it. Yeah, you will not be sorry. <laughs> uh, she's drinking an avant-garde. Never had that one. But uh, mm-hmm. very, very easy on the eyes. You always notice the beer. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Good job. I mean, took, I do, took too, a while. for like a second. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. She's just, uh, that she's holding a bottle. There. Yes. Yeah, correct. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh. That- she holds that bottle just like she could hold. Never mind. Wow. <laughs> oh my too far. God. Yeah, too far. way too far. We Sorry. Should, uh, we should move <laughs> on. Kind of creepy. Uh, <laughs> Quickly. Yes. A lot of creepy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So follow La Petite Beer and don't tell her what we said about her. <laughs> At least what Scott said. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you do we'll say Wiley that. said it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wiley said it. Yeah. So. Uh, Some hungover guy said it. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't thinking straight. I think it's time for round two. Let's call the bullpen. All right. Beer. Yes, he does. Uh, so this one mm. I have not had before. Literally, will be drinking it with uh, all you listeners. Correct. Yes. As we are drinking it. Ooh, spill mm. a little beer on my uh, Oops. iPad over here. Potty <laughs> foul. <laughs> Potty foul. <laughs> <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> there yes. we go. And you know, this one might just qualify for... Oh. But my iPad broke. <laughs> it's the beer. Oh, God. Oh, no. The beer, the beer broke it. Oh, no. Let's try it again. Crap. Hey, we're back. We're losing on a budget. We can't buy pockets like you notice. Boozing. Budget beer on tap. It's hopeless. We all sober. Beer so fly. Can't buy. You notice. Boozing. Hops and malts. Oh, my. Stay focused. Boozing on a budget. 
Yes, we are. This is a, a collaboration between Trader Joe's and Anchor Brewing up in NorCal. Yeah. Gangster. Yeah, this is JoJo's Cookie Stout. And if you are a frequenter of TJ's, mm-hmm. their uh, knockoff Oreos are called JoJo's. Oh, yeah. JoJo's and I cream. Didn't know that. Yeah, so uh, this is supposed to be their, you know, like their cookies or whatever. Um, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sweet. Yeah, got, a little sweet. I was a little afraid when I read the bottle because it said a uh, malt, a, a naturally flavored malt beverage. And I was like, mm. uh, flavored malt beverage. That yeah. doesn't sound quite as good as like, you know, something tasty craft beer. Or Correct. I always get worried with the flavored part. Right. So I, I got worried a little bit just because it's. I love the ice cream. So right. I kind of uh-huh. wondered like how much of the ice cream is in the beer. You know what I mean? I think I kind of never had the ice cream. Oh, really? It's so, really oh, good. So, as an eater of the ice cream, yeah. <laughs> how does this hold up? And that's the thing is, I tasted it like already knowing what the ice cream tasted like, and I was like, "Whoa!" You know what I mean? Like, I don't really taste too much of it. But if you kind of drink it, like, you, like if it's a stout and you don't know what it is, and you're drinking it, yeah. you can kind of taste some of the ice cream in it. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, I get a little bit of chocolate, um, maybe like a just an ever so small hint of coffee. Correct. You know, nothing, no huge bold flavors. It's Mm-mm. a pretty thin mouthfeel. Right. Um, it's five bucks for a bomber, so, you know, you're not breaking the bank. Or is it four bucks? I think it was four ninety nine for a bomber. Okay. So you're not breaking the bank. Uh, it just barely qualifies for booze on a budget. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. I wouldn't rush out to buy it. I don't think anybody here is going to pour it out either. No. no absolutely not. Yeah. No. That'd be alcohol. I'd be, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyways, booze on a budget. JoJo's Cookie Stout could Dr- possibly... Cause a hangover for a little girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I well, read that is, on the bottle. It is sugar. It could it, happen. Yeah, yeah, could, you got to be careful. Yeah. You, you know, know that, that'll put you out the whole day. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> or more. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this would be good on top of the ice cream. Mm. Oh, oh, fuck. You know, like float style. Correct. That's beer yeah. science right there. Bang. Uh, I guess we'll have to do it. I mm. like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, I forgot to mention top of the show. We have a winner. Oh. For a contest. We posted a contest on Instagrams, and it was uh, for some craft beer swag. We had some stickers, some coasters, some other cool stuff from random craft breweries in the area and afar. Being from SoCal, there's a lot of uh, San Diego stuff in there, but a lot of cool uh, coasters and stickers as well as our own, and we are going to announce the winner. If I was more prepared, I'd have it ready. Here we go. All right. And the winner is Beauty and Beer. Beauty and beer. Yes, beauty and beer. That's her Instagram. What a pairing. Yeah. <laughs> My two favorite things. <laughs> uh, beauty and beer. So I will be hitting you up, beauty and beer, yes. to send you the sweet craft right. beer job. swag. Thanks for playing. Thanks for everyone who entered. Yes. It was really easy. All you had to do was make sure you followed us on Instagram and then uh, do a little comment where you tag a couple of friends. And that was your entry. So thank you, everyone who played and who submitted. And we'll be doing this uh, somewhat regularly because now that I've finally moved into the new place, I found all my swag. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was unpacking the other day. I was like, there it is. There it is. It was literally the last box in my house that hadn't been opened. <laughs> it was like where all my beer glasses were, oh, wow. like all my glassware. And then as I was unpacking more, I was like, oh, shit, there's all the coasters and the stickers <laughs> and everything. So You're like Austin Powers. Yeah. My mojo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I found out. I was like, I got to immediately post some shit on Instagram and start getting this stuff away. So uh, thank you, Beer and Beauty, for playing. We'll be doing this soon, maybe in a week or so, and, and get some more yeah, swag out there. Good so. job. Yes, good job. Congrats, and uh, let's let's do a little booze news, if you don't mind. Sure. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Uh, breaking booze news. Wiley from the booze lake is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It's just so easy. Is that really news? Uh, <laughs> oh god! You call yourself the commissioner of the. Booze league. Booze league. But you get too hungover to leave. How embarrassing. Come on. How embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. I hope he listens. <laughs> booze <laughs> card revoked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, we talk about man card. His booze card mm-hmm. should be just, you know ripped up and shredded. Correct. Oh, God. He should have to reapply. <laughs> All right. In actual booze news, uh, Avery Brewing, one of the good ones out of Colorado, has actually uh, sold a 30% stake in their brewery. To an outside uh, investor, to Mahao San Miguel. It's a Spanish, not San Miguel from the Philippines. This is a Spanish company ah, who yeah. also owns 30% of Founders. 
So they're oh, kind of going around uh, buying some some craft brew percentages. Wow. Yeah, they're, taking, they're dipping their beak in a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here's the interesting thing with Avery. You know, they've been one of the, the, the craft beer darlings of the scene. And you have to be less than 20, I think it's 24.5% owned by an outside entity like that to be considered craft. So technically, Avery is no longer craft beer. From the Craft Brewers Association definition. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So uh, I guess we've lost a good one? Yeah. Yeah, interesting. We'll see what happens, see if they get any backlash. You know, founders didn't really seem to get any backlash from it. It's not like when Wicked Weed sold out completely to Budweiser or, right. or Golden Road or that kind of stuff. It's, mm-hmm. it's interesting because it's like 30% stake. You think, like, that's not so bad. You know, it's. It, it, I don't I don't see why they can't be craft still, but mm-hmm. I guess you have to make a number. Yeah. And it's 24 and a half. So yeah. mm-hmm. we'll see what happens. Uh, Adam Avery is still the, the main owner, though. So uh, speaking of shit beer, Budweiser <laughs> has sent barley seeds into space. Dilly dilly. <laughs> <laughs> One small dilly for man. <laughs> <laughs> Giant dilly for mankind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. They sent uh, seeds in a small part of a big carbo cargo cargo. Not Carbo. Cargo <laughs> resupply mission to the International S- Space Station. Wow. Words are hard. <laughs> Today. <laughs> yes. Um, and they're trying to see if they can grow that shit in space and like what the, oh, yeah. the no gravity does and all this stuff. So I guess that way when we it's... populate Mars, we can still drink shitty beer. <laughs> well, <laughs> Those poor astronauts. I know, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to see if uh, we can make beer in space. See if the aliens send it back. I would. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Dele Dele. <laughs> yeah, no See way. some alien driving a spaceship drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not off Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> if they never had beer before, it that's might, true. Might that's true. Them, yeah. That's true. Uh, Arby's, mm-hmm. the fast food chain, has bought Buffalo Wild Wings what? for two point four billion dollars. Yeah, how weird, right? I, I didn't even know Arby's is still around. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. They're closing up restaurants, but buying B Dubs. Right. Wow, oh, yeah, that's weird. That is weird. So we'll see what happens with that. Arby's roast beef buffalo wings. Mm, that sounds awful. You know, That's I didn't weird. know Arby's had the clout to buy out I buffalo wings. I didn't either. Yeah. I thought it'd be the other way around. Right? Right. Yeah, who'd have thunk it? I don't know. I thought kind of Arby's was like kind of going out. Yeah. You know? I would see more of like McDonald's having that kind of, yeah. you know. Balls, try to buy Arby's. Right. Arby's will buy you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have the meats. Wow. <laughs> we have the wings. I can't remember the last time I was at an Arby's. Yeah, I don't know. God. Years wow. and years and years. And that one stays open, though. They're, you know, the one in uh, Ventura. I know we're kind of oh, localizing yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Right, but, Ventura, California. And yeah. I don't know anyone it, who goes to it. No, I, I don't think I've been to Arby's, that Arby's especially, but I think that was probably the last one I've been to. Yeah. And it was in college. Right. It's and I've been out of college been for- Been at least uh, a decade. Six, ten. Yeah. Interesting. 11 years now. Hey, well, we may be seeing more and more. Maybe. Maybe you can get your wings and your roast beef. Ooh, there you go. We shall Hope see. they don't uh, get rid of the beer. Yeah. That's true. I doubt it. No. They better not. It's kind of the only reason to go to B-dubs. That's right. <laughs> like, yeah. The wings are fine. They're all right. They're, they're, yeah. they're not world-class yeah. wings. Correct. Yeah, that's not. There's something to join with the beer, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So, uh, Oakland, we talked about this, oh, man, probably six months ago. Golden Road was trying to move up, not move up to, but open up a brew pub in Oakland, and mm. the local Oaklanders were not happy about it and trying to put a stop to it. Uh, but the city has finally approved Golden Roads Brew Pub, and they will be opening shop, or at least starting ground shortly. Oh. So now, if you go up for the game, Dan, you could have some Budweiser beer. Right on. Yeah, I can dig it. There you mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Applebee's, get your dollar bills out, everybody. It's going to rain. Applebee's back in October, I think it was, did the uh, dollar margaritas all oh month my long. God. Do you remember this? I don't. Oh, it was dollar margaritas all month long. It, no happy hour, just all day long. Oh, really? Yeah, you get as many as you want and $1. That's dangerous. Now, I saw wow. videos on YouTube where like the uh, bartender was like, yeah, you shouldn't order these. Like, We just mix them with water. <laughs> oh. And Applebee's tried to deny it. But now in December, for the month of December, you can get $1 Long Island iced teas. Oh, okay. snaps. Yeah. And that's like only booze. So I don't know how you could water that down and still call it an iced tea. That's going to be uh, dangerous. For a yeah. dollar a, a, a shot, though. Well, it's more than a shot. I mean, it's I mean, a whole beverage. I mean, a dollar Correct. for the, for yeah. the thing. Yeah. Fill so, it up. Uh, yeah. Dilly dilly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Can so, you imagine you got a Lincoln in your pocket? That's five <laughs> Long Island iced teas. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. If you had a Hamilton, you'd be hammered. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man. Get nine iced teas and have a buck for tip. <laughs> 
No kidding. Cheap ass. <laughs> uh, so anyways, head over to Applebee's if you don't care what you're drinking, just want to get hammered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ew. All right. All right. At first, I thought you were saying rape. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Yes. Um, we don't need to I get wish. into our feelings on politics and who's running the country, mm-hmm. but I read an interesting article that this uh, Republican tax plan that they're trying to jam through would actually cut taxes for craft breweries from uh, $7 per barrel to three fifty wow. per barrel. I can dig it. Yeah, cut craft beer uh, taxes in half, wow. essentially. So, uh, you got my vote. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the individual may be fucked, but uh, may, the breweries, well, yeah. that's what thats what matters That's here. right. I don't care about party, as long as they cut the price of beer. Yeah, so hopefully yeah. That, uh, that'll that change the beer prices if it goes through. And Maybe at the next election, if that's their like main thing, this, we're going to cut the price of beer, if you right. vote for me, mm-hmm. I'll... I'll register and vote again. Yeah, they mm. really should t- touch on the issues yeah. that matter. That's right. I don't care about all the other shit. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Had I known this was going to happen. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'd have voted. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> that required leaving. So, <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah. All right, and finally, as I mentioned earlier, December 5th is the anniversary of, pro- of prohibition being oh, yeah, repealed. Yeah. And so for that... Happiest day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> You remember that back oh, in 1933? Whoa, boy, did we party. Yeah. <laughs> we partied. Uh, <laughs> we partied like it was 1921. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know. So I have 15 facts about prohibition you never knew. Or maybe you did. Um, number one, it was never illegal to drink during prohibition. Oh. Prohibition barred making alcohol, selling it, and shipping it for the purposes of consumption. But in fact, doctors could prescribe alcohol for medicinal pur- purposes. <laughs> uh, patients could then legally buy liquor from the pharmacy or their physician. Wow, I wonder if it was like the weed card thing. Must have been. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd it's had like so my many. job is so rough. I need some whiskey, yeah, yeah. man. I got some glaucoma. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I better get my alcohol. Gone. I'm thirsty. <laughs> It's like, sure, fuck it, here you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They had just like pop up shops to get your license, like you with weed. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Uh, in order to enforce the 18th Amendment, the National Prohibition Act, more commonly known as the Volstead Act, was passed. Uh, prior to that, there was no real punishment or uh, repercussions, so they had to pass another law so that states could actually enforce the law. Mm-hmm. Uh, Women's Christian Temperance Union, WCTU, was one of the major forces behind the 18th Amendment. They taught as scientific fact that the majority of beer drinkers die from edema, which is swelling of the organs or body. Oh, shit. Yeah. So they just made this lie to help get prohibition passed. Yeah. That scares scare some people back in the days when you couldn't Google things. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. That's true. Oh, my God. Um, they're just jealous because guys wouldn't touch them unless they were drunk. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> probably true. I mean, this picture of the ladies. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. It is. It is uh, well, you need some beer. <laughs> Popular Prohibition era speakeasies in New York that still operate today include the Landmark Tavern, 21 Club, and Flute. Never been to any of those. Uh, speakeasies got their name because you had to whisper a code word or name through a locked door in order to be allowed in. New York City. Dilly dilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> New York City alone had an estimated 30,000 speakeasies. Wow. Blind pig was a term used for dive bars where customers would pay to see an attraction like an animal and receive a complimentary drink. <laughs> see, you couldn't sell alcohol. So oh, had to give away it. the alcohol. Love it. Yes. I want to see that pig again. <laughs> <laughs> Why were we thinking about the same animal? It's <laughs> weird. It's a good looking pig. Uh, the KKK strongly supported prohibition. Oh, those bastards. Oh, wow. Makes sense. No wonder they're so they pissed off all the time. It? Huh? Those crazy white guys. Yeah. 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 You'd be pissed off if you were sober, too. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. Or hungover. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> cocktails gained popularity during this time mm-hmm. as they offered a way to mask the flavor of poorly made alcohol. <laughs> Popular cocktails of the time included Mary Pickford, French 75, the Barbary Coast, the Bee's Knees, and the Sidecar. Wow. Haven't had any of those. Uh, during Prohibition, the 18th Amendment supporters tried to have the Bible rewritten by removing all references of alcohol. <laughs> Leave it to the crazy Christians. <laughs> uh, cruises to nowhere, a.k.a. booze cruises, were an industry that sprouted from Prohibition. Ships would sail out of international, <laughs> out to international <laughs> waters <laughs> 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 where they could legally serve alcohol. The ship would typically cruise in circles. 
<laughs> <laughs> and nobody knew. <laughs> yeah. uh, it goes on to say, these cruises were also a precursor to the luxury cruise business. Prior to this time, people only used ships to travel. That explains the problems with the Titanic. Ah, uh, everyone was drunk. I, think I was oh, drunk when he snaps. hit that. Ice. Yeah. yeah. What a way to go. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Al, Cap- <laughs> Al Capone is estimated to have made $60 million in alcohol sales just in 1927 alone. Gangster. Literally. On, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On December 5th, 1933, the 21st Amendment was ratified and prohibition ended. This day is known as Repeal Day. So happy Repeal Day, everybody. Right on. After repealing the 18th Amendment, President Roosevelt quipped, what America needs now is a drink. Absolutely. Yeah, to, I love it. Not to be hung over. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why he was a great president. He was <laughs> a great president. Uh the and finally the first legal bottle of beer produced by Washington's Abner Drury Brewery. <laughs> Try saying that when you're hammered. <laughs> <laughs> was delivered to President Roosevelt at the White House on April fourteenth, nineteen thirty three. Wow. Beer delivery. Mm-hmm. Love it. Nice. Uber needs to get into that. Yes, they do. Fuck Uber it, needs. It, it never Uber make drinks. it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ordered, Please don't ask me to deliver beer. Oh, ordered a 12-pack of beer. It only showed up with two left. <laughs> <laughs> There's two left? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, uh, anyways, happy repeal day, everybody. Yeah, I got to yeah. get drunk that day. Yeah. Oh, what like day today? is it? Right, today, the 5th. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get drunk. Okay. I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> let's not get hungover. <laughs> least, oh, yeah. At least let's still function if we do. Uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for listening. That's all we got for you tonight. Mm-hmm. Thanks for telling friends about the show and and for uh, emailing and, and joining in on the contests and all that stuff. Maybe one of these days, uh, Wiley won't be such a bitch and actually show up. That's yeah, right. I, I doubt it. Yeah. Don't hold your breath. We'll have to spike his beer with water or something. <laughs> spike his uh, wine cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His cider. Oh, man. Oh, dear. So, uh, thanks for listening. Uh, if you can... Oh. It was a poor attempt to say hungover. <laughs> oh, oh. He said something about my, a hug. My bonus beer word of the day. Yeah. <laughs> bonus beer word. <laughs> bonus. Uh, if you guys want to find us, you can at theunfilteredgentleman.com, as well as on all the social medias, the Unfiltered Gentleman, except for Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. You can also drunk dial us, 805-538-BEER. So Do that, huh? Yeah. Or you could hangover dial us, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No yeah. kidding. Can't wait yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Uh, send us your emails, theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. And, uh, hey, it's me. I'm a bit. <laughs> if anybody wants to. I don't feel good. <laughs> if anybody wants to do like a uh, an unfiltered gentleman tasting with us, yeah, let us know. I think fun. that'd be a lot of fun to do. Correct. And maybe we'd, you know, press the flesh and meet some of the listeners and hope they don't like beat us up or something. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And we won't be hung over and not show up. Yeah. yeah. And we might be hung over. Oh, well, yeah, correct. But we're going to show up. Yeah. If there's, That's right. If there's ba- beer, we're there. <laughs> there's right. bear. Uh, Bears. So, yeah. Bears. <laughs> it's coming right for us. <laughs> so, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to stay hydrated. <laughs> and on that note, good night, everybody. Yeah.